it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm sharing a layout for Bramble Fox and I'm using some new cat related items from the store, some gorgeous perspectives. So first off I've got the Catastrophe set which you get two titles in that set um, and then I've got the Cat Treat set as well which is a little bag of mini perspectives and you get a whole little mix of things in there. Um, you get the words meow and purr, you get um, some fish and little fish bones and then you get some little cat faces as well. So a nice little selection in there and I'm also using fox cut number 17 which is that gorgeous starburst stencil again it's uh, my new favorite I think I've used it on every layout recently but um, it's just a favorite of mine now and you're gonna be seeing it for a while to come and I've pulled out the Art Options Viking Collection by 49 and Market and I love this collection, I think it's really beautiful but I've picked it out today because I love the way it works with the colours in the perspectives. So that Catastrophe set you get a, it's almost like a navy bordering on a purplish grey tone um, title, that's the Catastrophe and then you get another one that says Cat's Whiskers and that's um, almost like a creamy grey colour but they both work really well with this collection and then I've got tones of of purple in my photo as well so I thought it would work really well. So the photo I'm scrapping today is of my son and our youngest cat, it's Willow. We have three. Um, she is by far one of the craziest cats I've ever met. She's never grown up um, and she's the same age as my son as well. There's about four months between them or something and we got her when my son was about six months old. So they've kind of grown up together and they are best of friends and she follows him everywhere. Um, but every morning Riley has to get up for school obviously um, and what he actually does is gets up, goes to the toilet goes back into bed, leaves the bedroom door open and Willow promptly jumps up on the bed and cuddles up with him and then I spend the next 15 minutes trying to get him awake and her off the bed. I have a strict no cats on the bed rule um, and as you can see this cat likes to flaunt the rules um, and every morning you will find her on the bed cuddled up with my son. So it is a bit of a catastrophe because I do have to get him up and ready for school um, and I work at his school so it's um, quite important that I get there on time but we are constantly running out the door um, late most days so um, definitely a catastrophe so I thought that title worked really well with this photo. I've just um, arranged my layout kind of how I want it there. You can see I've cut some squares from some of the patterned papers. I've cut them in a various sizes, um, some big and some small, and I'm gonna have them in certain areas of the page. So mainly a sort of top left and top right, uh, sorry, bottom right in a diagonal design. And then I'm gonna have my photo set in the middle to kind of join those two areas together. And then I've got a little cluster going off to the left of the page and off to the top right as well, just to fill in some of that white space. So I kind of could see where I wanted things to sit um, and then I've pulled out Fox Cut 17 and a couple of Distress Inks and Oxides and I'm just um, adding some stenciling so that the starbirds are kind of just peeking out behind the pattern paper squares and my photo. So I started off with a pink Distress Oxide, that's picked raspberry and now I'm going over the top of that with, I think that's another Distress Oxide actually, it's Wilted Violet I think it's called. Um, and I'm just kind of mixing the two colours, trying to get a nice mix of pink and purple. Now I don't want too much pink because pink doesn't feature in this collection at all um, by 49 and Market. But it does feature in my photo in um, my duvet cover. So I wanted to get a little hint of pink. But as I build the layout up I decide it's probably a bit too pink. So I do come back in with a darker purple in a minute and go over it and try and make it a little bit more purple. Um, but for now I'm just using those two colours and as you can see I'm turning the stencil around so that the um, sort of streaks are coming out in the opposite direction. Um, it doesn't matter too much if it matches up in the middle or not because my photo and the pattern paper squares are going to cover the centre part there so I'm not too fussed about that. And then again same as I've done with the squares of paper I'm going to add a little bit of stenciling in those two edges as well um, just for a little bit of detail and to add a little bit of colour to my background. So there we go, I've skipped through the rest of the stenciling for you. You can see I've got it in kind of three main areas on the page now. And then I'm just going to take some time to build up those little clusters with the um, pattern paper squares that I've got. I've also pulled out a couple of square frames from the collection. I think they're from the ephemera pack. I'm going to have those just tucked in the edge um, clusters there on the left and the right. 
but I'm just taking some time to build those back up so I know where I want things to sit and then I'm going to start getting things stuck in place. So I'm using double sided tape for my squares. Now normally I would use double sided tape for some and then like this outer one I'm doing now, normally I would raise up with a layer of foam to bring in a little bit of dimension. But because I knew I was going to have perspectives stuck on top of them and they're quite dimensional themselves, I thought I would stick all my squares down flat. It sort of goes against <laughs> my norm and I also usually distress the edges of everything but today I just felt like having some nice crisp edges. I think I was a bit worried about distressing too much and then losing the nice um, sort of even shape of the square and then being kind of off square if that makes sense. I wanted those crisp lines to make them look like nice squares. So um, no foam and no distressing from me today which is very unusual. I'm getting those um, title pieces stuck in place now and I'm using glossy accents for my perspectives. Um, I know I say this every video I make for Bramble Fox, but just in case you're new to my channel or Bramble Fox, um, glossy accents is my go-to adhesive. I find it's really strong and holds the perspectives on the page really well. So I've got my catastrophe title up the top there and the cat's whiskers at the bottom. And then I've bought in a couple from the cat treats set as well. So I've used purr and I've used them in the same colours, but I've kind of alternated them. So the grey purr is with the kind of navy perspective and then the navy purr is with that grey perspective down the bottom. I'm going to do that all the way along, like mix and match the, the two colours together. And then just on my photo there, you saw I've added um, a white frame to my photo. Then I've added a nice... Um, deep kind of plum coloured purple basil card stock behind that and that works and uh, works that matches i was going to say matches all works then and it came out a mix of both um it works quite well with my photo because there are some darker purple tones in the photo um so that card stock worked quite nicely and then i've just added another layer of patterned paper so i have a nice floral paper from the collection behind that that's extended my photo out a little bit, giving it a nice frame, um, and then my perspectives are going to sit sort of above and beyond, uh, above and beyond, above and below that. And this is where I decided that that stenciled ink was just a little bit on the pink side. So I've pulled out, this is a Distress Ink in Dusty Concord, this one is, so it's a slightly darker purple. And I thought that would work a little bit better, not only with the collection, but also with the colour in my the colours in my photo as well. So just gonna go over all that stenciling and just darken that off a little bit. So there we go, just skip through that again for you. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of time to get the last few bits stuck in place. And if you're not a cat lover, um, obviously you won't like this layout much. Um, if you are more of a dog lover, if you head over to the Bramble Fox store, you'll find there's kind of matching perspectives for the dog owners out there as well. Um, so if you're more of a dog person, there is a set called Dog Treats, which is very similar to Cat Treats. It's um, a set of little mini perspectives. Um, you'll find that in the store. There's also lots of dog related titles as well. So plenty um, for those of you out there that are more dog people than cat people. Um, so I'll pop a link in the description box below to the Bramble Fox store. And more eggs had a right old tidy up of the website. I have to say I'm loving it at the moment. Um, you will actually find if you click on all products on the website, there, is, there are now areas that um, make it a little bit easier to search what you are looking for. So there is a whole section on pets. So um, I think it's pets an animal that's called so you will find all of the cat and dog related perspectives there or if you just go to new products on the website you'll find them there as well because they are relatively new so i've got all my squares in place i've got my title perspectives and those words per in place and now i'm just coming in with a few smaller details um, so i've added some tags that have got some cord hanging through them i'm actually going to untie those and tie them slightly differently because i just didn't like the way the cord was all hanging um looked quite rigid they weren't like nice wavy lines um like the tag cords so i'm gonna amend those in a minute um, I've bought in a few chipboard pieces, I've got one at the top of my photo that says loving life and then I've added a few to my little clusters, so one at the top right and one at the bottom left. I've got one going along the bottom of my photo as well, got a little um, round chipboard flare and I think if I remember rightly that one says just us two which I thought was perfect for this photo. Um, I've got some chipboard hearts as well and then in those top and bottom sort of corner clusters that sort of hang off the page I've brought in some more of the cat treat perspective so I've got a little cat face again I've got one in the navy down the bottom and one in the grey at the top 
and then alternating colours. I think I've added the words meow, um, which I really make me just think of cute things. I love the word meow. It's such a cute word. Um, so yeah, I've just built a couple of little clusters there with some chipboard pieces and some acrylic perspectives. I've also then just gone through the laser cut elements from the 49er Market collection and found a die cut that says Dreamer. Now, I've already got kind of two titles on the page. I've also got that chipboard piece that says Loving Life. I didn't really need another title, but it worked so well with my photo, I couldn't resist adding it. And it worked in nicely with a lot of the green tones in the pattern papers. So I am gonna add the word Dreamer onto the page as well. I'm just going to raise that up with a little bit of foam. I did end up adding some foam behind my photo, um, so I did get some foam in on my layout, um, but it just meant that I wanted Dreamer to be raised up as well. Um, so you'll see I'm just going to add some foam around that in a minute. But I'm just going around now getting the last few bits stuck in place. Um, I've got some die cut butterflies there. Um, just as usual, sticking the centre of the body down and then leaving the wings flapping free. Um, I like the way that it looks, makes him look realistic and Willow is forever chasing butterflies in the garden so I definitely wanted to get a few butterflies on this page. I've just skipped through um, the last few sort of bits of sticking. Um, as you can see, I've also changed those tag cords as well and tied them up a bit tighter. And then I'm just going to finish off my page with some splatters. So I'm using the same ink. Um, that is the Distress Ink, this one, and that is Dusty Concord, that nice sort of deeper plum purple. So I've just added lots of splatters of that. This is a Distress oxide in mode lawn and i'm bringing in some shimmers as well and that is called it's mint to be um, and there's quite a lot of like minty tones in the 49er market collection so i wanted a few little minty splatters as well and i've brought in some of the green to kind of match it up more to the green that you find in the collection um, so i've got purple and green splatters on my background and then that is me finished so thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the layout and the process and it's given you some inspiration. Don't forget, if you're not a lover of cats, we also have um, lots of dog-related perspectives in the store as well. And like I said, I will pop a link in the description box below to the store. Um, you just need to click on the pets section. I'll also leave a link to our Foxbox subscription page if you like Foxbox products. Um, do head on over and subscribe. You get a monthly box full of lots of goodies and it really is a generous box. You get loads. Um, and I'll also leave a link to the Bramble Fox Friends Facebook group. So if you're not already in our group, do head on over and join because you get loads of inspiration, loads of friendly chit chat. Um, you'll see stuff from other design team members as well. You also get lots of sneak peeks of what's coming up and you'll find the details of our monthly challenge each month. So do head on over and join if you're not already in but thanks again for joining me and i'll see you next time